another weekly vlog morning it's tuesday morning y'all are a little lost <laughs> let me fix you up i have y'all on always the most makeshift stands like what even is this this is my foam deep tissue roller and this cotton pad holder okay that's what you guys are standing on anyways i am about to do my morning skincare y'all i woke up and she got me she got me in my period. She came. Yeah, she came and she conquered. I couldn't do anything this morning. So we're getting a really late start. Well, it's not that late. It's like 10 o'clock. But yeah, what the hell am I talking about late start? Like this is the normal time I start the day. But I just felt like getting out of like I've been up since six. So to me, it's just been like just hours of like heating blanket, heating pad, neck pad. My neck hurts. My boobs hurt. Everything hurts like. I just took a shower and it was like a crime scene in there. Anyways, let's get ready for the day. I'm just going to vibe out today because like I'm just not in the mood to do too much. You know what I mean? And it's honestly miserable. I don't know if anybody has this like same experience, but sometimes for me with my period, like I will feel the effects of starting my period weeks earlier. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but like literally two weekly vlogs back, I was like, I'm about to get my period it just finally fully came then i have some periods where it's like doo -doo -doo -doo, like literally nothing happened like it's just whatever you know but today i was like i'm gonna run i'm gonna film all these reels i'm gonna do all this stuff ah! life really humbled me right there i'm going in with some deodorant i got this new deodorant last week this is the shea moisture manuka honey and retinol smoothing antiperspirant deodorant it says 48 hours on here Either I'm sweaty gruff or they're lying because I don't think it lasts that long. I definitely have to reapply like towards the end of the day, but this feels and smells literally so good. <laughs> like, I just think it has like the most nice texture to it. You know what I mean? Like, do you know when you put deodorants on sometimes and they're like dry and you're like, why am I rubbing sandpaper together under my arms? Like what is going on down there? But this feels so good. But I think because it's like so moisturizing, that's why I feel like the smell doesn't hold. I have been feeling like I am in such a rut. Like, I don't know what that is. I feel like I'm just like ready for the next chapter of my life. And so I feel like right now, I feel like there's nothing left for me here. You know what I mean? Or like in this stage, in this chapter, it's also like gotten really miserable, like living here like the past month. They're randomly doing all this construction here, not even construction. They just like, they set up a little workshop like in the two apartments across from mine. I just feel like I've been in a rut. Like I just, I don't know, all of a sudden, maybe like the past like three weeks, I've just been feeling like very uninspired, not motivated. I don't feel motivated to do much. And I hate that. I hate that because I'm such a person that like loves to be doing stuff all the time. I just love to be moving, doing stuff, going around, exploring new things. Like that's the type of person I am. So when I feel really uninspired to do that, you don't feel like yourself. You feel lost in a way, you know? So. Anyways, I'm just doing all my freaking toners. Okay. My skin is pissed. Yeah, pissed. But every time the seasons change, every time my skin gets visibly pissed off. This is really good. This La Roche Posay Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. It's extra dry skin, body, and face. Oh, I've been using it everywhere. Everywhere. This has been the tea. The tea for my cracked heels. If I could show you a before and after of my cracked heels. If you have cracked heels, this, 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 this triple repair moisture cream, this is just the magic in truth. The only product that I feel like has ever worked so good and this fast. I don't even have cracked heels on my left foot. I only have them on my right. 
That is so odd. Is that not odd? I feel like that's weird. Like, wouldn't you get them on both feet? I don't know. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I love these freaking dogs. Like, I freaking love these things. Oh my goodness. So let's get this day on and popping, and let's get it going. Look at these two full ass bags. They're so full. At least the laundry's clean, but I literally have more laundry than this to freaking do. Like, My aunt got me this bio cleaner stuff. Am I yelling? My headphones are on. My aunt got me this bio cleaner stuff and it's so good. It comes with like a little scrubby sponge and also like a, a microfiber towel. This stuff is better than the pink stuff. Like I don't even know where you can buy this. Cause like I said, it was a gift, but I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna let y'all know. Cause this is tea. This is so freaking good i literally use it on everything like the countertop sinks everything is so good i genuinely think it's like 20 times better than uh the pink stuff she also got me this um cute little i put it on here because i literally love the way this freaking looks i want to get one of those ones that goes over the entire oven but this is like a way oversized oven so i was like there's no point in buying it now i'll get it when i move to the next place so for now i put like this my little flowers my mushroom spoon holder some salt and pepper and then all my uh wooden spoons because i actually only use wooden spoons i switched over from all my i like gave them all to the thrift store except like these i have these ones um and like some of these but i got rid of all my like um like this type of stuff and just like gave them to the thrift store Look at this cute cutting board she got me how freaking cool is that my aunt literally gets me the best stuff like the pieces are really unique because she goes to like a lot of like craft fairs and stuff so everything she gets me is like one of a kind handmade type of shit and i love that like as i get older i genuinely love really unique one of a kind pieces so this is so cool to me she got me this dog bowl and the girls literally love it but look how cute it is it's like one of a kind type of vibe i literally love stuff like this like it's all hand freaking made I love it. I just think it's like the cutest thing ever. And they love it and they use it for their water bowl. I actually have two water bowls down here for them. Um, because I didn't know if Pepper could reach that bowl. But that's the bowl she drinks out of. So anyways, they got two water bowls. And then some extra kibble if they get hungry. But they f***ed up their food this morning. Look. I see clean plates. Clean plates. Why did she send me some new stuff? This is exciting. Well, this I have. This I love. This uh, nine ingredient moisturizer. Cause it's literally all just like pure ingredients. I love it. I've already used, ran through one bottle of this. I'm seeing so many people on Instagram and stuff putting the bronzing drops in their moisturizer. So I guess that's why they sent me the moisturizer to like mix it. But yeah, we'll have to try those. I'm kind of curious to see. I'm curious to see what that's giving. I've never used bronzing drops. So exciting new product to try. I'm so excited to like live in a one story place like a smaller place like i'm downgrading in size on purpose like i'm like no i need less space i feel like a lot of times when we have more space we feel like we have to fill that space does anybody else feel like that i definitely feel like that so i'm so happy to be like downsizing honestly it's just gonna make my life easier most of my life i grew up in apartments and I feel like I just like want to go back to that type of vibe with less space because to me it feels very homey. It feels very cozy. I feel like people don't talk about that, but I mean, maybe that's only how I feel. Maybe nobody else feels like that. But y'all, when I tell you that I am so much happier, like in a smaller space, 
space. It's like cozier for me. Like I can't be in anything too big and like extravagant. I don't know why, it's just like not my vibe, I think. Like even this place I feel like is kind of a little too big for me. It's not that it's too big, it's that it's kind of like too much, you know? Like I just felt like I needed to fill it with all this stuff. So I went out and I bought all this stuff and it just didn't make me happy at the end of the day. Like I think that I thought it was going to. And I feel like I'm happier in like a smaller, cozier vibe of a home. And that's just like me personally, you know? So, oh, what am I doing? I was about to do this. I use this OxyClean to wash my clothes because I ran out of my method. But anytime I wash my bedding, I wash it with this because my dogs lay on the bed. And this is like a safe uh, laundry detergent for them. Like something that won't give them any you know, irritations, because it has, like, no smells or anything. Anyways, I'm ranting today, y'all. I'm ranting. I still feel good, though. Still feel good enough to get shit done. Lost a sock that's definitely dirty. That's what I'm talking about. The three flights of stairs, there just be shit on every, every single stairs. Like, half my wardrobe is downstairs. Half of the, like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know. I'm actually not hungry yet, but I want to keep these good vibes going. So I'm going to pop me one of these Arxy Shred Ultra Energies. These are my tea. I actually like the canned ones already done up better than like mixing the Arxy Shred with myself. That's just like me personally, probably because I'm lazy. But also this has like a Nasitol, B vitamins, green tea. Love it. Love this thing. I kind of, if I'm over towards vitamin shop later this week, I kind of want to pop in there and see if they have any other flavors of these. Oh, I'm going to go there probably later this week and like grab a couple different ones to try because this is just the cotton candy. This is probably my holy grail product as like a PCOS girly because it does have an acetal. It's like clean caffeine. Y'all, they're not even paying me to say that. I only get like a kickback if somebody uses my code. So they don't pay me to like say anything that's genuinely like how I feel. These are my tea. I will continuously keep these in my home. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna plug it in and then I'll see y'all soon. Whoa. Ooh. Y'all just went flying. <laughs> there is something just so sexy about clean sheets and just like clean bedding. I actually wanna get like all new like comforter bedding. When I move, like I want a new comforter. I was thinking about getting them from, I can't remember where it was called. I think it was called like Cozy Earth or something. And then I checked the price and I said, ah! <laughs> put like a bundle of it in my cart just to see how much it was. I'm talking about a fucking thousand dollars. Does anybody have that and know if it's worth it? I just don't know if I can justify it. I've never seen one bad review of their like linens and stuff so i was like oh i'm gonna try that but i was like damn a thousand bucks for a comforter and some sheets y'all got me fucked up all the way up a lot of people ask me where my bedding is from and the pillows that i sleep on are ugg pillows the best i bought them when i moved out in 2019 that was like when i moved out got my first apartment it's just the only pillow i can ever sleep on since 2019 i've never gotten a new pillow these are so iconic i don't even know if ugg still makes them anymore this is a brooklinen pillowcase honestly i think when i move i might order some new brooklinen because that is like one of those influencer things that really lives up to the hype i think brooklinen sheets are I get the best night's sleep on those, but my pillowcases are Brooklinen. This big pillow, I believe, is Birch, which is the same as my mattress, which I love this mattress. And then I have a mattress topper on it from Target. These are also from Target, from like the Threshold brand, you know what I'm talking about? Like the Target brand of like home decor and stuff. Checkered blanket is from Amazon, it's in my storefront. But I also seen that TJ Maxx sells one for $19.99 and they sell a bunch of colors. So maybe try TJ Maxx if you want one of the checkered blankets. 
because literally same size, same quality, same vibe for 20 bucks. TJ Maxx has really stepped up their game when it comes to everything. Everything. I always thought TJ Maxx was good, but fuck, they've been stepping it up. And they're doing a good job, too, you know? Because they almost got me. They had a pink one of these checkered blankets, and I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I, don't. I was so close to buying it, but I know that I don't need it. But I probably will get another one when I move, because I freaking love this checkered blanket so much. I feel like when I move, I want, like, the same vibes as I have now, but, like, a little elevated. You know what I mean? Perfect. And then my comforter is in... The dryer still and it's from Amazon and it's just like a basic it's like a thin comforter because I can't sleep with anything too heavy like everybody that sleeps with a weighted blanket I could never do that I would actually feel like I'm suffocating is that just me that shit will be giving me anxiety I think I have like claustrophobia or something like I couldn't be in something like too you know like where it feels too heavy on me these pillows the pillows inside are from Target. The covers are from UGG. Here is my side ass dinner. Period dinner. Cause you know what? I'm just happy that I got some protein in here because that really is my main freaking goal. And I'm sitting in bed. I'm eating in bed. Yes, it is what it is. What time is it? I'm already going to bed. Babs, it's seven. It's seven. Look how light it is outside. It feels like crazy to be eating in bed at 7 p.m. and it's this light outside it's like a crime it feels like summer i actually love that feeling i'm gonna watch something i already brought my dessert up here you guys know i'm on a sweet treat craving cotton candy grapes are back cotton candy grapes are back okay <laughs> and i put them in the freezer just like this <laughs> and it's just literally the best sweet treat my bagel i got my water what i just watched the other day it was so good if you've never seen it and you have hulu it might be on something else but if you have hulu um the lost city with brad pitt channing tatum and sandra bullock literally so good it was so funny it's just like one of those like rom-com type of thing literally it's fucking rom-com like that's literally exactly what it is and it was so good i loved it my mom actually was like you need to watch that so i watched that the other night and it was so good i've been having cute little movie nights with myself okay oh you know what i watched the other day <gasps> if you haven't seen oh 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 if you guys haven't seen what jennifer did it's a documentary on netflix netflix is pissing me off how do they know like the whole thing with the household i don't get that like i don't understand how do they know they know that you're on different wi-fi like isn't that fucking illegal i don't know anyways hate that hate that they're so fucking greedy for that shit because you already make so much money like i'm sorry they make so much money and the fact that they're doing people like that Kicking everybody off the accounts, it's got to go. Like, I got my own account, but now when I give people my account, like, they get kicked off. And so, like, they'll do the little traveling thing, and they'll do the one-time code, and then you can never use it ever again. If you ever say you're traveling, and then you stay logged in, ah, you can never do that ever again. So, if anybody wants to know, <laughs> if you use the I'm traveling option, they will never let you do it ever again. Like, anyways, beside the point. Y'all need to watch what Jennifer did on Netflix because that was, that shook me to my core being. The whole, do I have a booger? Like there's bats in that cave. I'm sorry. Like I have to pick my nose. Don't act like you don't fucking pick your nose. Also there's chicken fucking grease under my nails. That's really good. Now there's chicken grease in my nose. What's going on here? What Jennifer did on Netflix. You have to watch it. It's insane if you're not like a fan of true crime or like real ass documentaries like my mom can't watch that shit anymore so i like literally have to watch it by myself but it was so good not good no it wasn't good it was just one of those things where you're like the story is insanity like it just keeps getting worse 
like the fact that that's even a real story to me i was just like shook at every turn it like kept me so glued to the tv i was like oh my goodness what is that who is that stinkers she's like let me get a bite of that freaking bagel sandwich i don't think so little bagel sandwich pebs see how good they are harley would have devoured this already like see how good they are they know how to eat their mommy's food huh Harley would have been ate that. Oh my God, Harley would have been ate my fucking chicken sandwich. We found out that Sadie is actually Italian Greyhound, which is something that we, well, I previously thought that that's what she was, but now we know for a fact that she is indeed an Italian Greyhound. Huh, Sadie? I always thought that because of the way she runs, <laughs> but huh. And she has like a really muscular body. Like she's so freaking muscular. I have to give Pepper her eardrops. And they showed me how to do it yesterday. So hopefully I can do it. Oh my God, you guys. They literally called me a couple hours ago. Pepper's blood work came back immaculate. <laughs> like literally so good. Not a thing wrong. Like not any even one thing to be concerned about and this makes me happy because when i originally took her you guys know i was like taking her to the vet when i started fostering her i had to take her to the vet so much when i originally fostered her and her blood work was not good like her first couple rounds of blood work it was not looking good the fact that her blood work is like so good and it has changed so much um, that relieves a lot of my anxiety. I literally cried when he said that everything was perfect. I literally cried. Yay! It's like a small win, but it feels so big, you know? Just going to take care of your little allergies. Here's the little dropper. I hate doing this shit because I know that she is, hates it. <laughs> I think I got it. Honestly, I have no clue. I might have put a little too much of that in there. So we have to do this for... 10 days? There's not even enough shit in here for 10 days. A little ass bottle. So essentially what this little thing does is kills any strains of yeast bacteria. He said that she didn't have an ear infection yet, but like if her allergies continue to be bad, it could form into an ear infection. So I guess like this is to just stop it in its tracks altogether. Um, and then they gave her the allergy shot yesterday. Anyways, I'm gonna do my skincare and get ready for bed. My eyes have been kind of bothering me. Um, and I thought it was just from like being on my phone. But I don't know what it is. I noticed that I have like, they're like kind of bloodshot. And no, I'm not on anything, okay? But they're kind of bloodshot like the sides of them. Like the blood vessels are like really popping like really potent so i put some eye drops in and that kind of like stopped the pain for like a little bit but i'm like having pain so i've been using this thing good night <laughs> it could be dry eyes or like allergies or something but it's like i don't know it's like hurting pretty bad so i'm like what the fuck? not these ailments i can't i can't do it anymore i can't do any more ailments please god <laughs> just make it stop Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love ya. You keep on talking, but you bitches say nothing. Mm. Run it, run it, everywhere I run it. You have been buffing, cause you know you ain't bossing. Uh, I've been on your mind, you can lie, even when you're all alone. If you wanna run my dick, at least then you could do it on the low. Do y'all see this? This is why I stopped using my Nespresso machine. What is that green like mold in there? Oh, hell no. Anyways, if y'all can hear that sanding, <laughs> bear with me now. Bear with me now.
if I told you the amount of rent money that I pay at this place, you guys would actually, I actually think I'd be in trouble with y'all. Like you would actually be like, we are disowning you, unsubscribing, that's ridiculous. My first year living here was so good. I like, I have no freaking complaints, that's why I signed another lease. Swear to God, since these people moved out across from me, I told you guys there was like a girl that lived across from me. She was on Love is Blind, no, Love Island. She was on Love Island. Sweet girl. They were so nice. Literally, they moved out. Then my favorite neighbor that was next to them moved out. Those are my fries. Okay. <laughs> they have two workstations right across from my unit. When I tell you that shit goes on all day long, they start at 6 a.m. and then they get done at like 6 p.m. Sanding shit. Don't even know what they're sanding. They're just sanding shit. They're doing shit. They're playing music. They're, it's so much. It's like honestly really overstimulating, especially if I'm like trying to do something in here during the day. And they're like, oh, they're gonna be done today. They're gonna be done today. They've been being done today for the past month. Okay. Anyways, I'm done complaining. I got a roof over my head. I'm done complaining. God, I swear I'm done complaining. <laughs> Anyways, we're making a fabulous, fantabulous girl dinner. It's actually been like a little bit of my hyperfixation meal. This. Caesar salad, specifically the organic one because I like this dressing better than the other one. The Caesar salad here from Trader Joe's. I made up a little chicken on Monday. I meal prepped this chicken. This is the best chicken I've ever made. I take back what I said about my chicken cutlass. This is the best chicken. And it's not even breaded or anything. Like, it's so freaking good. I'm really becoming that girl. I'm really becoming a chef, okay? And I'm just happy about it because like, you know how it, shitty it is when you make something for yourself and then you're like, this sucks. I got my crispy little fries going in the air fryer because it would not be a complete girl dinner without this is salad with the fries. Ooh, it's a chicken salad. I'm use a real plate today. We're getting fancy. Okay. Anyways, y'all, this is my dinner. Mmm. It hits every freaking time. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Bye -bye. Good morning. It's Thursday. I literally went and got you guessed it can you guess it air one i tried their matcha for the first time like two days ago and i'm hooked it's very good actually probably one of the best matchas that i've ever had i got extra ice because i was like they always do such light ice which you know that i literally love okay that's really good always put light ice which i literally love but i like my drink to be so freaking cold like my drink has to be so frozen in my mouth and the matcha like warms it up a little you know iced matcha latte with oat milk and vanilla syrup got a little vegetarian breakfast burrito because we're gonna be on the town today i remember this tasting a lot better <laughs> like five months ago when i used to order it it just doesn't feel like it was made with love you know what i mean to go to target the dispensary Going to the dispensary at 10 a.m. in the morning is wild, but I don't care. Like, there's nobody there at that time. Then I wanted to swing by Whole Foods because I wanted to get this goat milk bar. And you guys actually commented about, like, a goat's milk bar for dry skin. And I was like, I've actually heard of that. I don't know why I've never tried that. And I feel like Whole Foods is kind of the only place around here that would have something like that. I also haven't been in a Whole Foods in a minute, so it might be fun to just like look around. I always come to the cookies in Woodland Hills. Little hall. <laughs> it was like chill vibes. Nobody's like ever in there. Like this location, I feel like it doesn't get that much traction. Or like every time I'm in here, there's always like, it's always like just me or like literally only like one other person. Which is crazy because I feel like this dispensary is very good it's clean they probably don't have like as much stuff that's probably why but you guys know i love a little rice crispy but i kind of want to do something different this time so i got my original regular gummies which is the mary and berry wild i love these these are like one of my favorite gummies like ever they put me right to sleep i always get the indica and they only had the mary and berry she also had a sour cherry but i'm a little bit weird about sour stuff so i just got two mary and berries these are my go freaking two like i love these my other favorite 
I don't know if this is interesting, but my other favorite like edible gummies is the Kana brand. It has like a lion on it or something. They're so good. They're literally so good, but this location doesn't sell them, so I always go for the wilds. This is like this is like my second favorite. Um, and they're still so good, so effective. Instead of a rice crispy treat, the girl was telling me that this blondie salted caramel blondie is really good and i was like i have to try that she said throw it in the microwave for about like 10 seconds and girl oh it literally says that on here microwave for 10 to 15 seconds oh we're gonna fuck this up like we're literally gonna fuck this up do i need to put it back in the fridge after i didn't refrigerate my rice krispie treat was i supposed to do that anyways beside the point that's the haul just want like a chill night like to just sit watch vibe like i when i take those i get so into my show or movie or whatever i'm watching sometimes i will literally watch something and i'll be like is this not making sense because it's not making sense or am i so high that it's not making sense i watched the halloween movie you know the one with jamie lee curtis like the one that literally just came out and everyone said it was so bad i watched that off of edible i was watching it like is this bad because it's just f this bad or am i so f up that like it's so bad so does that happen to anybody else like i don't know if that's literally just me but sometimes when i watch stuff i'm like I'm gonna have to re-watch this when I'm like in a normal state of mind because is this really this bad? No, the Halloween movie was really that bad. I couldn't follow that storyline for shit, y'all. Go to Target. We're gonna go to Target. I just had to pick up some coffee creamer and then we're gonna run into Whole Foods. I just need a goat's milk bar. Um, but I kind of want to see what else they have. I know they sell coconut cult there and I cannot find like a decent um flavor of coconut cult anywhere else i'm like seeing everyone's getting these cookies and cream coconut cult hello where the f are y'all finding that I know how got me buying again. Friends ain't jacking me, you must be lying to your friends. They don't want my visa. The bag is officially secured. Here is my goat's milk bar. It's so pretty looking. I'm gonna use that on my face tonight. So shout out to the girl that told me that that helped her skin because I already know, like just feeling it, I already know that my dry skin is gonna eat that shit up. I have to stay on top of my dry skin. It's like gotten worse over the years too, I swear. It just continues to get worse. Um, and so that's why I get like the texture and stuff. So, thanks girl, I'm literally gonna use this and we have to use this tonight. It better work, okay? Because that little ass bar was eight dollars. Ah! Anyways, let's go home. In the in and out line. We literally just went for like an hour long walk. These guys are freaking exhausted. I'm praying that they don't bark at this guy. I'm sure they won't. But I'm gonna set y'all literally right there. Good, how are you? I'm doing well, what can I start for you? Can I do two double doubles? Okay. Can I do those protein style? Mm -hmm. And then can I do two puppy patties okay. with no salt? Uh -huh. That's everything. Did you want onions on those double doubles? No. All right, and any fries or drinks? Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. All right. And did you want to eat in the car? Yeah, do it for the car. All right, it's gonna be 1577 next window. Cool, thank, thank you. you. Take care. Thank you, have a good one. I think that guy had a crush on me. <laughs> he said, take care. I didn't hear him say that to nobody else. Biggie's ready for her puppy patty. She said, get that shit stat, bitch. <laughs> she said, ASAP. No fucking Rocky. I took these guys to like a different spot to walk around because I just didn't feel like walking them like around. I've walked them around so many times where we're at now that I'm just like, I feel like they're so sick and tired of it. So I was like, I want to give them like some different scenery, but like everywhere to walk is like you have to drive. So I was like, well, if I drive and like get some in and out <laughs> and get a puppy patty for them, I got two this time because I know Pepper's going to want some at home. So I'm going to bring her some home. 
Actually, I'm just gonna wait till we get home to give it them the patty, them protein style, because I was like, I don't know if I actually have not even eaten today. I've literally eaten the matcha and the burrito. That was literally it. So I'm like kind of hungry, but I don't want something super heavy in my stomach because bitch, I'm gonna eat a yasso bar. There's like literally so much freaking tea going on at home. Oh, my, I have to fill you guys in on literally what is going on at the house. Oh, he looked back at me. Oh, should I have waved? Okay, no, that's creepy. Don't do that. Don't ever do that again. But yeah, y'all, there's fucking tea. Remember how I told you that they're sanding shit? Okay, well, today they brought out a whole, I don't even know, a whole truck and a bus and shit. My mom calls them. My mom has been calling them, by the way. Um, and uh, when someone disturbs Lori's peace, she says something to them every day about the noise and at this point it low-key does feel like they're doing it on purpose almost like I don't want to accuse anybody of anything but like I low-key feel like they're doing it on purpose like just to piss her off like to egg her on kind of thing you know what I mean you know how pe people would do that like when they know someone's pissed about something they just gonna keep doing it like p pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and at this point I just feel like they're they just are doing shit on purpose so she calls the like head of head of head people and he was so rude to her and I was like oh my god and basically telling her that she was like lying and I'm like okay don't that's one thing that you just shouldn't do you know they're having a full-blown like workshop okay it's like wood shop next door and he's telling her that that's not going on like what do you mean that's not going on like we fucking live here we know what's going on we see it we hear it every day from 6 a.m in the morning to 6 a.m at night they're freaking doing a wood shop over there so then anyways that was like a whole thing and then you know they're going back at my mom being like well you shouldn't even have the dogs here we let shit slide with y'all like all this shit that and i'm like don't get me evicted don't get me evicted that's one thing we're not gonna do is get me evicted because i have not even try to look for a new place to live like don't do that to me right now stuff like that really stresses me out i don't know what it is about me like i'm just not a confrontational person well not a confrontational person when like i feel like things don't need to be confrontational i'm not a yeller you will literally never hear me yell at anybody i will cry before i will ever yell at anybody like if if i ever yell at somebody i am so past my breaking point that i like have lost <laughs> all sense of everything that's going on you know because i just feel like it's never that serious i have like extreme trauma with yelling like it's just a really big trigger for me it's something that i should probably work out in therapy but i have insane triggers like i can't even listen to someone yell at a video game it's a trigger for me like i don't know what that is i don't i've like never talked about that are we getting deep right now this is fucking weird it's like a really big trigger for me so even just me like hearing somebody yell or like knowing that people are yelling at each other it physically like makes my stomach so sick it, i like almost vomit like i have been in situations before where people have yelled at me and i throw up i full-on throw up because i have trauma like i literally have a trigger that's a whole nother story for another time but i have insane triggers with people raising their voice yelling all that da 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 somebody just hit somebody <gasps> yeah that was loud oh that was loud as shit oh somebody just got hit rear ended his did you hear that that was bad that was bad i'm assuming it's on this street right here back behind us because that is like a main uh street i'm not going for it like i don't want to have anything to do with no yelling i don't want to have anything to do like at that point it felt like they were trying to blackmail us or something like being like oh well you guys we you shouldn't even have the dogs like we let shit slide and da 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 and this all this stuff and i'm like oh god which which by the way what they were trying to say right there was we have three dogs and you're only supposed to have two so they let that shit slide you know um so I'm like, God, don't, don't do that to me. Don't, don't, don't bring the dogs into it. Not even me. I'm not even part of this scheme. You know, I'm not even part of the problem. It's really with them and my mom. Like they're beefing, going back and forth. I'm just in the middle of it. Like I am the middleman. I am the one, I swear to God, I'm like the peacemaker because that's just who I've always been. Like, I don't like, I just feel like, what's the point? What's the point? Like you never have to argue with me, babes. <laughs> like because i just really don't care at the end of the day anyways i'm gonna get my food go home then we're gonna have a movie night i've been having movie night did i tell you guys i've been having movie night literally every single night yeah what did i watch the other night that was good i watched the giant peach 
James and the Giant Peach Stock. I don't know. Something on Hulu. Then I watched Lost City, which was so good. I think I already told you guys that. What else did I watch? I've been watching so much stuff. So if you have any movies, let me know. Oh, you know what? I've seen a lot of people say that they're watching One Day on Netflix. I think I want to start that. That's a show. I believe but I really really want to start that seeing so many people talk about their crying over it I love a good show that will make me cry my favorite is anything having to do with romance a little rom-com that is like my favorite genre I really love scary movies too which is like a hot take because I know a lot of people don't like scary movies but I love a good scary movie I am like forever traumatized from the ring oh <laughs> that movie is so freaky to me like that's out of every movie i've ever seen that's like creepy i think that one is the worst i don't like shit having to do with like little girls that really creeps me out little girls dolls anything have no no that's not for me so the ring i'm sorry that shit really creeped me out that shit creeped me out when she started coming on the tv nope look y'all look oh my god i'm trying to get it and they can't see me, so they can't see me oh something happened something happened i told y'all somebody got hit what the heck did i tell y'all you could go yeah you're so welcome because i want to see what the hell's going on Ooh. let's see what's going on but there's like 10 cops so it was something it was something like i know these 10 cops are not here for a fender bender oh shit and the ambulance pulling up oh my god look at this look at this look at this i'm gonna try to get it real sly for y'all oh my god y'all see that? oh my god that that was serious this has got to be serious. This is some serious shit. Okay, we got to go. This morning we're trying a new cafe. We gotta try all the spots before we move. It's Friday, by the way. So we tried this little Joy, it's called Joy Cafe. If you guys follow Jacqueline Hill, she like recently moved to this area. Like we're like basically neighbors, like okay, hey. But she's like, I've been seeing her do a lot of stuff like in this area. Stuff that I have lived here for so many years I never even heard about or known about and i guess that this is kind of like a popular cafe here it's vegan and gluten-free and apparently their coffee and their matcha is really good they have like tons of coffee and matcha so when i seen her post about it i was like oh we have to go like are you kidding me so we got well my mom just had mouth surgery so she can't eat shit but she gobbled her drink down in 0.2 seconds one thing about my mom she's a gulper not a sipper okay it's not a sipper like me i'm a sipper i like take my time my mom gulper yeah. that was gone within 30 seconds <laughs> their coffee is really good i feel like their beans have like some notes of it's got to be something berry blackberry i think it, was. it said blackberry i think that's what it said it's got to be something berry but i love that you guys know i love like a berry a berry vibe so yeah maybe we should get some of their beans yeah for the smack I heard that their matcha is good like that's one of their main reviews online and they have like a blueberry matcha which I love they have butterfly like the pea matcha which I, I've also had before from like other places which is really really good and so anyways let's see what the bagel is giving because we waited for like 25 minutes for this bagel it was packed in there I thought the people in there were kind of weird yeah they were a little did you think they were kind of weird the people that worked there or the other no people? The people behind us. The people that were like in line. It's giving like hoity toity. Like everybody yeah, in there yeah, was giving super like. Hoity toity. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No, the people in front of us were nice. No, the people in front of us were the nicest people yeah. there. Yeah. Because they were sitting there. Look at this. If you're in the valley, come to Joy because it's good. Period. Yep, 10 out of 10 for my drink. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I rate the bagel like an 8. I think their pancakes are probably better. Because I am kind of weird about gluten-free, like, bagels. They just don't hit the same as, like, a, a r regular bagel, you know? Some gluten-free stuff is really good. But some stuff is just like, yeah, we're going to have to eat the gluten on that one. <laughs> you know? And I feel like a bagel is low-key one of those things. I want to start making my own bagels at home. I want to start making my own bread, bagels. Got to give me a sourdough starter. Okay? I even want to make, like, a sourdough, like, cookies. Because I've seen people make those. and they Sourdough look, cookies? And they look really good. Yeah, you make the cookies, like, the dough out of, like, a sourdough starter. And they look so bomb. They literally look so good. So, anyways. 
We're going to Aldi. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.